Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. From our application homepage, we have no way to access the master detail forms and reports that we created in the previous video. So I'm going to edit the home page by clicking it, the edit page in the designer toolbar. What I need to do is create a region. So I'm going to click in the page rendering section. I'm going to right click region and click create. And I will leave it as HTML and click next. I won't make a change on the next page. And here I will give it a name. So I'm going to call this form, whoops, I'm going to call this forms and reports. And I won't change any of the other default settings. I'll click next. There's nothing for the source and there's no condition. I'll just simply create the region and then I run the page and I now have this region here that says forms and reports. So I'll go back to editing the page and notice I have this in the uh, in the regions forms and reports. So I'll right click that and add a page item button. And the naming convention is to put the page number in front of the element that or item that you're adding to the page. Uh, that's a good naming convention so I would not change that. So we have P1 underscore and then I'm going to put evaluations. And automatically the, la the label is created based on removing the page number and just giving the text that follows. So I'll go ahead and accept that and click next. And I won't make any changes for the display properties. The sequence would be uh, controlling uh, where this item appears on that particular region within the home page. So if you had multiple item items and you wanted this to be higher or lower, you would change this sequence value. Now I do want to change this action. I want to redirect to a page in this application. When I click this option, I'll get more options. And the main thing is I want to go to this item or this location, this property, and click the list. And I want to select the list from the list. I want to select my evaluation. So I'll click that. And that gives me the page number. And I don't need to change anything else. I'll click Next. And I won't make any conditions. I'll create the button. I'll run my page. I now have a button. And if I click it, it opens the report that leads to my master detail form for evaluations. I can quickly step back through this and create one for workshops. So I have evaluations and workshop. Going back to my application, I'm going to switch over to the team development area. I've done the work so far here as developer Diana, and so I'm going into the team development area to update the to-dos. I go into the uh, to-do list assigned for Diana and I have the workshop attendance master detail. I can switch that to 100% complete. And then the other one is actually assigned to uh, let's see, it's assigned to Jan. With Diana as the contributor, but I can go ahead and set that as 100% complete. In the next video, 
we'll go back to the application and we'll start creating lists of values and adding them to uh, the evaluation form where we combine uh, more than one field, two or more fields in the display column for the list of values.